hurts to pass. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh my god. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I hope everybody's having a great uh, hump day. We've got rumors, okay? That's all we have as Cowboy fans are rumors, of course. Now, keep in mind here, this is not coming necessarily from the Cowboys. These are people's ideas of... Connecting the dots of, you know, why this makes sense. And there's a lot of things that have actually made sense, except for the Dallas Cowboys and the moves that they made. We know that we have some problems at running back. And we discussed earlier that um, the Cowboys are thinking about bringing Tony Pollard back, that Tony Pollard may be interested in coming back to the Cowboys slightly less than another team. Uh, we know that we got problems on the offensive line now that Tyron Smith, of course, has retired. And we had problems because Biotish is a free agent as well. And we kind of underperform on the offensive line. We know we have problems on the defensive line. And we have a lot of guys that are free agents from Navelle Gallimore and Dante Fowler and Dorrance Armstrong and so forth. And we definitely know that we have a problem at linebacker. Now, we will get Damone Clark. The question will be is, how well will he be recovered from the ACL? And um, I'm sorry, not uh, Damone Clark is not injured. It's not, no. That is, um, boy, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, Overshone. Overshone will be coming back uh, from the ACL, which will help us some. But we are probably looking for a veteran linebacker to add to the cause because we don't have a lot of draft picks. Well, the latest hottie that we've had, of course, we've heard people say, hey, Bobby Wagner, he's a free agent. Uh, Bobby Wagner would have been great two years ago, but I'm afraid that Bobby Wagner is not the same guy that he used to be. And so yesterday, uh, Brian Brodus and crew um, were talking about the possibility of uh, linebacker Eric Kendricks. Eric Kendricks, who was released by the uh, Chargers after one year, saving them about $6.5 million cap space. Let's go to the tape, and then we'll discuss a little more. We'll go into a little more detail about him. So with Prince Faisal overseas, and uh, we're talking about this uh, Kendricks, the linebacker. Eric yeah. Kendricks, he got Eric released Kendricks by the Chargers. And, and I'm like, you know, he's like, I'm going, that's a Mike Zimmer guy. And he goes, I know, but they'll probably offer pennies and he won't come. That's the yeah, that's, yeah. that's probably very true. It'll be like yeah. Bobby Wagner stuff. Yeah. You know, we're linking Wagner to the yeah. Cowboys because of the Dan Q Dan sure. connection. And then they basically lowball. Yeah, and he's like, I uh, I don't think so. Hey, but we're all in, baby. Yeah. What you want to hear is like this guy at one point was awesome. He's a Hall of Famer. He still thinks the game yeah. very fast, but he slowed down. He's coming off an injury. Yeah, I need to. Had a I disappointing did. season. Then he's in the Cowboys price range. I need to kind of. I need to check with the <laughs> gang of seven and see if this guy's can. Should we play? just assume Peyton Wilson's going to be a Cowboy in the second round? Uh, Maybe some Jonathan Brooks in the third. We just go. Who all are these ACLT. guys you're talking about? Who's Peyton Wilson? Peyton Wilson's probably the best linebacker in the draft from NC State. Yeah. Problem is, he's he's Injury got a lot history. of surgeries yeah. on his track record. He's got there knee go. knee issues. He's got shoulder. He's been clean the last two years, though. Hmm. Um, I'm interested to see if any further information comes out about him of some medical concerns. Man, just, if you if you stayed healthy for two years, I think you've gotten I know, past that for I me. Know, yeah. I know, and and but yeah, he's, I'd gamble on him, but I get the linebacker deal. The Cowboys the have Cowboys, done that a lot, and it hasn't worked. The Cowboys have drafted linebackers that probably haven't gotten their full extent of their careers because of medical things they're dealing with. Leighton Vanders yeah. came in the bad shoulder. Yeah, Sean Lee, Bruce Sean Carter. Lee, Bruce Carter. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, heck. Even the linebacker Taylor that got Miller shoot in the fifth round, Demone Clark. Demone Clark, yeah, they, they get back, back back surgery there, so they got a thing there. They, I mean, that's the second round blue star special. They, oh, yeah, Peyton Wilson, is. he is he is the best linebacker I think in the draft. Well, I, our buddy John Owning has yeah. uh, given some insight on on Eric Kendricks. He said he's not the same guy anymore, but Mike Zimmer does love him. He was in L.A. Yeah, so he left Minnesota. 
went to the Chargers, and uh, since they've released him, I guess that's got to be a cap move. They, they're in dire cap need for some help there. The Chargers are in mm-hmm. some trouble. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes, you know, especially a, a, a great veteran like Kendricks is desired by the coach if he had him in a previous spot just so he can know that at least one guy knows exactly what his role is. He can talk yes. with the other There's guys about the, how this thing evolves. Man, you're preaching the right way. There. That is a fantastic point because yeah. what exactly did Zim talk about during his introductory presser? It's we need to be able to speak the same language. Yeah. And who can mm-hmm. teach those guys the language outside of just Mike Zimmer? Eric Kendricks would be able to do that. Yeah, so that is, that's an interesting story to follow. I wonder if even if he is declined, now that puts him right here in this sweet spot where the Cowboys would be like, hey, this can be a veteran. We have yep. overshown. We draft another guy on day two or day three, and maybe you know things can come together for this linebacker room. It's just crazy how many needs this team has, though. It is going to have to be a, a, a stroke of genius, I think, by the drafting scouts and by the, the pro scouts as well to get enough more good players in here, Brian. Yeah. I think you're right about that. Okay. Uh, there you go. So, um, this is the Cowboys' M.O. This is truly the Cowboys' M.O. Um, when I think back to Anthony Barr, who we brought in, injured, coming off an ACL, and having a couple of years of decline service, because um, he had went from 2019 79 tackles, which was his career high, to 2020 having six, um, to 2021 having 72. And then, of course, the Cowboys signed him after the ACL tear, and he got 58. And, of course, he's on his way out. He played in four games last year and had a total of two tackles. This is the Cowboys thing is they're always trying. It, it, it drives me crazy. If – there's a couple of positions where having guys that get injured often, that's not a good place. Linebacker and running back. You're going to have a lot of high-impact hits. You just are. And the thing about it is, is a lot of times the Cowboys are like, okay, we're okay. We're getting a name guy that people recognize. Late in their career, that's looking for that last payday before – you know, we ride off into the sunset, and it's not enough. And I dare say, when you think about how much time and effort and draft picks have been put towards the linebacker, it probably would have been less expensive had you just went out and signed a good younger player that you could keep into your system. Do you think Baltimore would would have won all the Super Bowls that they did without Ray Lewis in the middle? They had great players there, but Ray Lewis was the cog that really made that thing drive. And that's where I I guess we're just going to be the Cowboys that are always going to be on the cheap. And just basically, we'll make a temporary fix for this as opposed to getting a true one. But this thing of drafting guys, overshown with, um, uh, excuse me, overshown having the knee injury, but Damone Clark. Literally having his back fused. Jalen Smith, catastrophic knee injury where most teams stayed away because they weren't sure he was ever going to play on the field. Uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, who had shoulder and neck issues in college. Uh, Sean Lee, who had hamstring issue knee injuries in college. You can't get linebackers that are old and injured. You just can't. So we'll see where this goes. And, again, that, that's the typical kind of move. If he has an injury, I can guarantee you he'll be here with the Dallas Cowboys. All right, good people. Uh, we've got other rumors that Saquon, the best landing place for him would be with the Cowboys. You know, all these things are great to talk about, but I don't see any of them happening. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.